Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to World of Warships. In today's video, uh, I was asked by a viewer probably uh, several weeks ago, maybe almost a month ago, um, about going over the tech tree. Uh, in the sense of talking about the different classes, uh, which would be which nations uh, for each of the classes would I recommend going through, and just kind of talking about some of the differences. Um, so that is the aim of today's video. Now, keep in mind, uh, I haven't been playing a game for two years, but I still haven't gone through all the destroyer uh, tech tree lines. Um, I'm still uh, on the way uh, of getting there, but uh, I'll share from you what I experience. I know what I understand of the different tech trees if I've not played through them yet, so on and so forth. So, uh, so we had Shimakaze up first in gearing. So I'm just going to jump into the tech tree. And some of you have asked, you know, if I were to recommend a, if you're new to the game, what uh, destroyer tech tree line would I recommend you to go through first? And my answer would definitely be the American destroyer line. Now, I don't say that because uh, I'm biased uh, in the sense of that uh, I am an American. <laughs> uh, but I say that because of the American destroyer line is... You have three types of classes uh, of destroyers in the game. Uh, you have torpedo boats, you have gunboats, and you have hybrid boats um, or destroyers. Uh, and the American line is, I mean, as you get later on to the tier, it definitely becomes increasingly hybrid. Um, hybrid where you get like really good guns, but also you get pretty decent torpedoes. Um, so it's the best of kind of like a torpedo destroyer and a gunboat destroyer. Um, because, like, you know, for example, if we're going all the way up the line, um, like, when you're looking at the American destroyers, uh, your guns, your, your pretty decent guns as you go up. You know, here's Tier 5 Nicholas, uh, armor layout. Oh, <laughs> artillery, sorry. Uh, Four-second reload time. Your torpedoes are 5.5 kilometer range. So that means concealment-wise, like, you can't stealth torp. But what I, one of the things I value most about the American Destroyer line and why I think it really helps you uh, as a new player to the game is that it teaches you uh, some important aspects uh, about destroyers in the game. Uh, one is using islands uh, and when to use your smoke. Um, now, when I say islands, now, like, for example, like, you can't stealth torp in the, uh, the Nicholas, right? Um, because the torpedoes are 5.5, I throw a f flag uh, concealment camo, temporary camo on, I think I'm like 5.8. But what the American Destroyer line teaches you to do uh, as you grind up through it is using islands um, to dump torpedoes off, like setting up an ambush. So, you know, like with the lower tier line destroyers, it's like, well, I'm not going to be able to get in range. Um, I think it switches once you get is it after Farragut. 6.4, detectability 6.8. I do have concealment built. So, like, once you switch to Farragut to Mahan, um, it teaches you to utilize islands or utilizing smoke screens to get your torpedoes off uh, by stealth torping. So, what that does is, is you carry that information with you, like, oh, I should use islands uh, to get set up ambushes to get my torpedoes off uh, when I start playing, like, the German destroyer line uh, or when I start playing the uh, Japanese destroyer line, right? So it sets you up really well because then like once you get up to gearing, uh, you get two options of torps, like you get these 10.5, but detectability range of uh, 5.9. Uh, but then you also get this 16.5 uh, kilometer uh, torpedo range, uh, but longer reload time does less maximum damage. Um, so there's some things you can play around with as you go up through the line. The other thing I said is the smoke. Uh, the smoke screen on American destroyers are known for being uh, the action time is long, 30 seconds, and the smoke screen dispersion time, 130 seconds. Uh, that's for here in the gearing. If I drop down to Nicholas, you're going to see the action time still stays at 30, uh, but our smoke screen dispersion time drops to 115 seconds. And you can see here, we only have three smoke screens. So when we do dump a smoke screen, we have to be very mindful uh, of our positioning. Like if I, when I try to dump a smoke screen or use a smoke screen, um, 
I primarily try to use it if I'm set up well and I know I have more than just one enemy target to fire at. So when I smoke, I know I'm this cruiser, this battleship is still going to be detected and I keep shooting them. Um, and then there's like another ship or two just in case they go dark. I have another target to shoot. Or sometimes you might get yourself in a really sticky situation and you have to smoke up. Um, sometimes when you have destroyers that meet uh, in the middle or something and then you start shooting each other, uh, sometimes I kind of wait a moment to see if the enemy destroyer is going to burn his smoke screen. Um, then I don't have to spend mine. So that's something that I like about the American uh, destroyer line because it's such a hybrid ship between having decent uh, reload time on guns. Like uh, I have the gearing built for more uh, gun reload. So 2.6 second reload time on our main battery um, of these three turrets. So it's really nice. So I think players who are new to the game, I would recommend you go up the, the American Destroyer line first because it's going to teach you a lot um, and you're going to be able to take that knowledge with you going forward. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I would recommend to you. So let's hop back. Uh, let's go to the Japanese uh, tech tree uh, for Destroyers. Uh, in the Japanese tech tree, you get uh, two Destroyer lines. Um, you get what is known as the Torpedo line. Uh, which is leading up to the Shimakaze uh, that many of us uh, well know. And even if you're new to the game, you've probably heard of this ship. Uh, and then you get this gunboat line that really doesn't turn into gunboat, really, uh, from my understanding, until you get to Akazuki. Uh, like I have the Shiratsu. Uh, so let's just hop into what this ship looks like. You know, our reload time is 7.5 seconds, uh, but our torpedoes are 10 kilometers. Uh, but then once you switch up to the Akazuki, we'll just preview the ship. Uh, our main battery drops down to three seconds, right? That's when the the uh, tech tree line of the Japanese destroyers really turns into gunboat line. Uh, once you get through these guys, um, I'm trying to remember the sailing Robin. He has a really good video in the Hurugumo. He's a WoW's YouTube content creator. Um, and so definitely recommend checking out that. It's a funny video. Um, but yeah, so you have torpedoes. Like, you know, when we're looking at uh, Shimakaze, uh, you have you get three options of torpedoes. You get these 20-kilometer uh, uh, stock torpedoes. Then you get the, what I like to run is the 12-kilometer. And then you get uh, these meme torpedoes that are 8-kilometer range, but they're like 80 knots. Um, and your concealment is 5.6. Uh, let's look, did I put a camouflage? Yeah, so I'm running a camouflage on it. Um, like the, is it the Yugamo? It's the Kagero. That's even better concealment. Well, I don't have concealment on you yet. 6.2. I throw, yeah, it gets down to 5.4 after concealment and then throw a permanent camo. I'll throw a French one on. We can, we can check and make sure. Yeah, 5.4, right. Um, so this is the line, uh, the shore line I ground, grinded next. And with setting up what this line taught me well after going through the American destroyer line is, um, you know, you have a hybrid. It taught me it's use your guns because I see a lot of uh, players who go through the Japanese destroyer line and they don't always take advantage of the guns. Shimakaze has really good guns and she's really good for uh, kiting. She has a longer reload time, but those Japanese... Uh, HE shells do hit hard. Um, so you can use your guns and also setting up those torp ambushes um, that the American, uh, especially the mid tier uh, destroyer line, teaches you. Um, and then you have the gunboat line. So I've not gotten there yet, but uh, this is something I'm really looking forward to um, checking out once I get to that point. Um, so from there, the next destroyer, full destroyer line I have grinded is the British destroyer line. I just got the daring uh, a week or two ago uh, as of recording this video. And this is becoming my favorite uh, destroyer line that I've grinded through so far. Um, the British destroyer line, I'll just view daring, is a hybrid destroyer line um, because it kind of reminds you of gearing. Like, let's just look at the daring as an example. Like gearing, uh, daring, you know, you have the two uh, double turrets in the front and you got one in the rear. Your torpedoes, you get two sets of five in the center here. Um, 
and the guns are really nice. Like let's, so we had 2.6 second reload time on our gearing. You have a 2.3 second reload time uh, on the daring. Uh, your torpedoes, uh, they're 10 kilometer torpedoes, 62 knots. Um, I think the, the reload time is a little different. Um, you don't get the option to switch off between different, uh, like a longer range torpedo like you do um, on the American destroyer line. But what's really nice uh, about this line is that this is a very, I like to refer to the British destroyer line as a very, um, it, has, it has a really good defensive uh, play style to it um, because you get these short burst smoke generators. Um, what the, these smoke screens are much different than Americans. Uh, like American consumable action time for smoke screen is 30 seconds. For the destroyers, uh, the British destroyers, it's 10 seconds. And instead of your smoke screen dispersion time being like uh, two minutes uh, or roughly two minutes, give or take, depending on which uh, tier you're looking at with American destroyers, your smoke screen dispersion time is 40 seconds, uh, like on daring. So what's really nice about these smoke screens, like you see, I have seven of them. I have superintendent. You get in a fight, um, you can quickly um, use a smoke screen and then your reload time is 70 seconds. So after you disengage, you're out and about for 30 seconds you have another smoke screen ready to go. So it really makes um, engaging enemy destroyers really nice on top of the fact that you get the short range hydroacoustic search. So these detect torpedoes and ships three kilometers away. Um, and then you also get the repair party. Um, that's not typical. I think you also get it on Jutland, but not on Lightning. Yeah, not on Lightning. Once you get to the higher tier. Um, when you're looking at like low tier, like let's say the Icarus, uh, our artillery reload time, five seconds, our torpedoes, uh, seven kilometers. And you can see it as we grind up the line, it gets better, uh, as it should, uh, when it comes to the guns and that, but what is nice to me is like, now that I, I've gone up, you know, you have the hybrid American shoreline, then you go through like, let's say the Japanese destroyer torpedo line, uh, and then you go through the British uh, destroyer line, it's like you learn some things that you're able to contribute even more. Um, and to me, uh, the British destroyer line plays really similar to the American destroyer line, except that she's a little bit more resourceful in the sense of uh, her repair party and her hydroacoustic search. Um, you see the technical range right now is 6.2, but I throw a per or temporary camouflage on. Let's just throw that one on. Drops down to six. So, so pretty close to what the uh, gearing is in, in that essence. So this has been a really fun line. And right now it's been uh, my favorite thus far of the uh, destroyer line that I've grinded it through. So then now we're just gonna go uh, straight down. Uh, probably be talking about these others as long. Right now I'm focusing on the uh, destroyer line for the USSR, Russia. Uh, this is a very gunboat oriented line. Um, you can see right now I'm at Minsk. I was going to grind up for Ognevoy and go down to Grozovoy, um, but because they're going to take Khabarovsk out and replace it with a different ship, Khabarovsk will move to the army as a coal ship. So now I'm going to go down uh, to the Kiev, Tashkent, Khabarovsk. Um, when you look at this line, uh, this is a very pure gunboat line. Artillery, we have five second reload time. You can get that down with some of the commander skills. Um, and then concealment, 10 kilometers stock. So until you like may, you know, it's, let's say you, you take uh, concealment system modification. Um, uh, this is a line where even when it comes to your commander, uh, that you probably don't even take uh, concealment expert on your commander because this is a gunboat line It's meant to harass enemy ships at a distance uh, It takes a more skilled player to play the gunboat line because you're out you're playing with your throttle I mean you've got the engine boost um, You can switch out your smoke generator for a repair party, uh, which is really nice so uh, it's give or take there. Uh, gunboat lines usually are more difficult to play. They take a higher skill level, um, but it can be rewarding. 
torpedoes on a, a destroyer line like this gunboat line tend to be short ranged so you can see six kilometers right there um that's normal of a, a gunboat destroyers tend to have really good uh guns but uh not so great torpedoes and you can see with uh Kabarosk, uh you have two turrets in the front and two in the back and then you can kind of see the the torpedoes here in the center so they can fire uh, either side so that's what you get with uh, this line. I'm not sure. Let's look at the, I think the Grozevoy is better torpedoes. Oh, you, have even, you even get defensive AA. You get everything. <laughs> so already like just looking at the consumable setup, it's like, you know, Grozevoy looks a little bit better than Kavarosk. You can see standard concealment is already better. Look at the artillery, it's 4.2 seconds, um, but you get 3x2 turrets instead of 4x2 turrets. Torpedoes, 8km uh, torpedoes, but then you got this guy here, which makes your increases your range to 10km torpedoes. Um, so when you're looking at, like if you're going to this line first, uh, from what I've been told, uh, <laughs> let's go back into this again, uh, the Grozevoy is a more friendly better ship than the Kaparosk. That's just what I've been told, um, just because you get the better concealment and better torpedoes and you get more consumables. Um, so there's that one. Germany. Um, they introduced uh, recently a new destroyer line, uh, not too long ago, a couple updates ago uh, for the Germans. Uh, the German destroyers, you can see I've only got tier four. I still got a ways to go. Uh, let's just look at uh, Z52 as an example. You can see you got 7.7 kilometer detectability range uh, without any uh, upgrades or commander skills mastered. Our torpedoes, 10 kilometer. Uh, we got 3x2, 3.8 seconds, which means we're going to be able to get the reload time down. You can get a different set of torps where you're going 10.5 kilometers and 69 knots. So a little bit of a buff there. Um, so the German line uh, is pretty well known for, I think it's got decent uh, armor piercing with its um, artillery. I think I'll actually just leave these open. Um, but what's really particular, really nice about the German destroyer line is it's got the like standard hydroacoustic search. The British destroyers have the short range hydroacoustic search, but the Germans get what's basically known as a long range or the, the standard hydroacoustic search where you're detecting torpedoes four kilometers away, but you're detecting enemy ships six kilometers away. So if you're, uh, let's say an American destroyer, if you're smoked up and uh, let's say gearing and a Z-52 pushes in on you, he's gonna be able to pick you up with his hydroacoustic search and shoot you and you're not gonna be able to do anything about it. Like you're just gonna have to disengage, get out of smoke, fight him back. Um, and he's able to uh, force you out. So when you go up against uh, these destroyers uh, of the German, destroyer line, um, you have to be mindful of this hydroacoustic search um, when using your smoke screen um, because you can get punished for it if a, something like a Z-52 pushes in um, and punishes you for that. Um, their smoke screen is not, uh, you sound like a 30 seconds, 20 second action time, and then you can see dispersion time is 77 seconds, um, so just over a minute. Um, so it's kind of, uh, you get to see a little bit more of a blend there. Um, but you can get the torpedo reload time down you know, 90 seconds. You can get it, if you go for full torp build, I think you can get it down close to like uh, just over a minute and then adrenaline rush kicks in, then you're looking at less than one minute actually uh, from my understanding. So uh, so that that's uh, the more the hybrid uh, German line. And then you get what goes into, sorry, uh, this new destroyer line, which has, from my understanding, has a little bit more emphasis on the torpedoes. Uh, and also these larger caliber guns. So the L-Bing has been kind of memed a lot lately because the main battery, it's 7.1 second reload time, right? So that's definitely not a um, gunboat uh, or even a, honestly, not even a hybrid uh, destroyer we're talking about here. Um, but... It's the size of the caliber of these guns, 150 uh, millimeter guns. Um, and when you're looking at the ship, I mean, you can just see like, whoa, 
those actually look bigger than like the normal. Uh, you get three, but these uh, guns punish cruisers broadside terribly. Like I lost one salvo from an Elbing. Uh, I was in Minotaur and lost like almost half my HP because it just, well, Citadel, you, Citadel, uh, Wooster, um, so on and so forth, you get a good salvo. Um, so this armor piercing from these guys is no joke from these size guns. So you can think of these, you know, detectability range by C, 8.3. Like Elbing, you kind of play, it's, you play it as it's a small cruiser um, because you just set up shop with a smoke screen, you dump your torpedoes, and you're using your guns. Um, you can see torpedoes range 13.5. Uh, reload time, you know, 10 torpedoes. Reload time, 90 seconds. So let's see if we can see... Yeah, aim to get a defensive A, which from my understanding, the A is kind of eh. It's, it's all right. I mean, you got the 6.9 kilometer. Um, the damage by shell explosions, you know, if someone flies into your flak, uh, they're definitely going to die. So... That is the German line uh, of destroyers. Let's go to the French. Uh, this is a line I have not uh, grinded at all yet. You can see I don't even have the tier two, but I have the Agla. It's a tier six. Uh, I'll pop that open. Uh, Agla, it's a tier six. And then I also have the Marcel. Uh, it's for coal. Uh, in the armory, and I, the Aglo, I think was one of my first tier six, uh, or my, one of my, yeah, one of my first, uh, premium ships in the game, because it's, uh, you can get it for, where I at least used to, I'm not sure now, uh, pretty good price for coal. Um, but what's more normal for the French destroyer line is they don't have the best, uh, well, it depends. Like the the lower mid tier, you're looking at this like 4.8 second reload time, um, and then the torpedoes are eight kilometers. Um, but you have actually pretty good speed, uh, 36 knots, and that's without the engine boost. So if I uh, pull up, you know, engine boost, your smoke screen, you you know, you can see 20 seconds, 81 seconds. So it's let's call this maybe more of a standard smoke screen. Um, and our AA, or sorry, not AA, concealment, 6.8. Um, and I think that is with concealment experts on the ship. Um, it's not so great. Uh, but this has been a fun tier six uh, French DD that I like playing uh, in ranked when I get the opportunities. Because you have to play more distance. And what's typical of the French destroyer line, especially destroyers that don't have good concealment, is you use islands to close the distance, right? So let's, like, for example, let's look at the Marcel. You can see I have a uh, seven kilometer detectability range by C, and that is with concealment. That is a concealment build. Our artillery is actually really good. We get these four by two 127 millimeter guns that have a 3.1 second reload time. And our torpedoes are nine kilometer range. So this is more of the French is destroyer line is sort of like the Russian gunboat destroyer line, um, but maybe a little better uh, just from my experience so far of playing the, the premiums that I own. Um, because, uh, like, in comparison to the Khabarovsk, like, uh, your maneuverability, 44 knots, and then you pop engine boost, you're in the Sierra Mike flag, you're, I think you're actually breaking 55 knots speed, so you can just zoom across the map, your gun range, 11.5, so you, like, typically you want to build for, uh, this guy, main battery and AA expert, which is what I take next, um, so our firing range, we get out beyond to 13.8. And it's really hard to hit uh, a Marceau uh, or, you know, these fast moving French cruisers because they're uh, they're booking along really fast and you can, you have decent maneuverability with your rudder shift. And not to mention like the Marceau has fantastic AA, um, 6.9 kilometer range and you get defensive AA, or not 6.9, sorry, six. And you get defensive AA on top of that. Uh, which just boosts that even more. So I've been able to take on Hercules, uh, Mars and FDRs um, in Marcel. Uh, and you have the speed that you're basically outmaneuvering them. Uh, so in terms of the tech tree, uh, when it comes to the French uh, destroyers, you get the Club Bear. Uh, so we'll preview that real quick. 
Uh, so we'll open up the torpedoes concealment. So you can see you actually get the main battery reload booster uh, in the French destroyer line. I'm not sure what uh, tier uh, this starts, uh, but our reload time right now is seven seconds. So it's like, oh, uh, not so good, but uh, that can get cut in half. Uh, so then, you know, seven to 3.5 seconds, and then you actually start building into guns. Like maybe that gets you underneath three seconds when you've activated this. Um, and it's got this long firing range. And that's even without taking uh, the skill I pointed out, like on the Marcel. Um, so you can get your range out even further. We can boost our reload time. Uh, concealment, 9.9. Kleber .9. is definitely very much uh, so a gunboat the shoreline or the, the French cruisers. You can see our torpedo range is eight, where our Marceau, we had like nine. So we'll just preview the ship so you can see what it looks like. But what's notable about the French destroyers is they have like actually pretty good damage uh, saturation. Um, it feels like it takes a, they take a lot of punishment and harder to kill, maybe a little bit more than other destroyers. Like uh, one thing I forgot to mention uh, on the German destroyer line, uh, I'll just, we'll hop back there really quick. On the new branch that they put in, uh, we'll look at Elbing real quick. And these guys are hard to kill because they have a really decent health pool. 30,900, right? That's a lot. I was taking on a Elbing when I was in Marceau and it felt like it took uh, really long to kill him. And he had a, a div mate that almost took me out in an Alexander Nevsky, but I took Elbing out. But they have this uh, huge health pool. Um, in comparison to, you know, Daring, we get uh, 24,300. And that is not even including survivability expert that you take on, like, the Elbing as an example. But the French destroyer line uh, really is uh, a more of a gunboat line. Um, and they have good armor piercing, so keep that in mind. You can catch uh, a lot of... Uh, cruisers off guard, like you can get citadel by Morgador Kleber. Uh, they close enough to you, um, closing in. You have Italy, that's just battleships and cruisers at the moment. Pan Asia, uh, these are uh, an interesting line. So let's just go. You can see I'm up to the Gajamada. No, say I'm not right. Um, they have good concealment. Uh, let me throw on. No, I do have a, the permanent camouflage on. Uh, good concealment, 6.1. Um, torpedoes that hit really heavy, but they only deal damage to cruisers, battleships, and aircraft carriers. You will not hit a uh, destroyer, uh, or I'm guessing even submarines now, because they are deep water torpedoes. You can see this little destroyer, uh, or the torpedo icon, it looks a little different. Like if I go to SCON as an example, standard torpedo. Go back to the Gajamada and a deep water torpedo. So basically, they hit only deep dread, uh, deep drop ships, and they have a low detectability range. So you're gonna uh, not catch these torpedoes more till last minute, which makes these torpedoes really effective, um, and will make players, um, of cruisers, battleships, aircraft carriers, uh, more nervous um, when these guys are out on the field. Um, the main battery reload time, five seconds. You can invest in that a bit more. I actually have a, a commander I got from the armory who has two enhanced skills, and I got him for this line, particularly because he has improved survivability expert. Uh, instead of having 350 HP increase for each ship tier, you get plus 400. So even a uh, bigger health pull now just being at the tier seven. Um, torpedo range, you can see eight kilometers right now. If we go to the tier 10, because I like showing off the tier 10 because that's usually it's supposed to be the pinnacle of the line and what it's about. Concealment 7.4, so actually you can get that down uh, rather decent once you do do a full conceal build. Torpedo range, 13.5 kilometers. Um, again, you can see deep water torps, only dealing damage to cruisers, battleships, aircraft carriers. Main battery, four seconds. You can get that down if you invest in a little bit more of the guns. So this is... Uh, this ship definitely needs to have its guns because of uh, the torpedoes. Like, the torpedoes are really ideal. Again, you know, it's four cruisers, battleships, carriers. But when you run into enemy destroyers, you're not going to be able to torpedo them. 
because the torpedoes are just going to go right underneath their ship because their draw is not deep enough in the water. So that's why they kind of have, it's actually rather decent reload time on the main battery because you need to be able to stand your ground against um, enemy destroyers. Now, I pop the consumables open and you not only just get the, the uh, smoke generator, it's the 30 second action time. So it's kind of mimicked a little bit more after uh, the American destroyers per se. You can see there's not, when you're thinking of gearing to the Yang, it's uh, not a huge difference there. Um, but you get radar. You give up smoke screen and you go for a 7.5 kilometer radar with the consumable action time of 25 seconds. So uh, you can catch uh, destroyers off guard. Uh, not many Yu Yang players take surveillance radar, but it's actually really effective. Um, I'm not sure if the. Does Chung Mu get it? Let's go to equipment. Yeah, it starts on Chung Mu. Uh, we can take the surveillance radar. So that's uh, a very different, unique trait uh, once you get into the high tier Pan Asian destroyer line. Um, and again, decent reload timing battery. Uh, and as well as uh, torpedo range eight. I don't remember what the torpedo range was. Yeah, thirteen point five. Is that what we saw uh, on Yu Yang? Yeah, thirteen point five. So again, you have a little bit of a difference there. Um, I want you to wrap this video up. Uh, the European destroyer line. Uh, you can see I'm up to Oland right now. Um, we will go to equipment. And we'll just look at the ship for a moment. Um, this is <laughs> this doesn't help this uh, camouflage to give you an idea of what the ship actually looks like. So let's just put like a, a normal camo on. And then let's preview the ship. There you go. So you can see we actually we only have uh, two main battery guns and then we have uh, two triple torpedo tube sets there. Uh, main battery reload time, 2.5 seconds, and this is only tier 8. Um, torpedo range, 12 kilometers, and they're fast torpedoes. Um, concealment, 6 kilometers for tier 8. Um, so what's notable about this line is it actually has a pretty good AA defense. Uh, the torpedoes are fast, uh, good range, but they don't hit hard. They're more weak. You can see maximum damage, 7,533. Uh, for uh, the this is where um, and yeah main battery is good so these are really good hybrid destroyers per se um, they lean a little bit more towards the gunboat uh, ish uh, because they do not get smoke screen um, so there's another unique characteristic trait about how uh, the line but then you get the access to the defensive AA so the Holland we pull him up 7.6, I think you can get a Holland's concealment down to like 5.8, a full concealed build. Um, your AA, still six kilometer, really good AA Holland. Holland is really known for having great AA. Uh, as a destroyer, uh, torpedo speed, 86 knots, and that's not even investing in torpedoes. Like we could get torpedoes over 90 knots in Holland, which makes it really hard to avoid them. Their detect build range by sea, 1.8 kilometers. Uh, the reload time of them are 100 seconds, so you can even invest in your torpedoes to reload even faster. Uh, you can see 15 kilometer torpedo range and main battery, two seconds reload time. And that's before you even invest um, in the any buffs that help reload the time of the main battery. So you can see there, but you get the uh, two by five instead of like that two by three uh, that we had, I believe that was an Oland I was just showing you a moment ago. And very like modern, uh, like the anti-submarine warfare. It's kind of like these forward launchers on the ship. Yeah, because the Friesland is tier nine. It does the same, launches off your anti, depth charges off the front. Um, so yeah, you don't get smoke screen, but you get the engine boost, you get the physical AA, and you get the repair party. Um, that's kind of the trade-off and not having the smoke screen here. And you can see it's not optional. Uh, what you see is what you get. Netherlands, uh, this is the, basically it's the Friesland, uh, European, it doesn't show, 
Oh, Commonwealth. No? Where's Friesland? Is it because because it's free XP? Oh, it because uh, they took uh, Friesland out. Um, now instead of the oh, that's so weird. I thought I thought they'd already show it. Yeah, Friesland you could get for a million free XP, which is what I did. But now they have replaced it with like the grown again or whatever. I don't know what to call it. But I think that oh yeah, the Netherlands uh, because. The Dutch I got confused there at the end, um, but it's just, it's a copycat clone of the Friesland, except now they have one in the uh, Dutch tech tree, and I think that covers everything. So, um, destroyers in World of Warships, uh, really fun. Uh, I've actually been playing destroyers much more um, since the 10.0 Commander rework and uh, having a lot of fun with that. But I hope this video helps give you an idea of what you're dealing with uh, when we're talking about uh, destroyers and what I would recommend you start off with first um, and some of just the differences. There's probably even more things I could have touched on, but I try to want to do this as a general overview. I will also have a video on cruisers uh, and battleships. Um, I'm not sure how much I can speak into aircraft carriers because I'm not an aircraft carrier player. I play some, but not much. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's something you also want to add on that I didn't cover that maybe other players would might be interested in talking about in the comments, please feel free to do so. So until next time, take care.